and as described by uh, Kendall, is like relative to, relative to where she was standing. It seemed that the transparent top um, was clearly visible to her and gave her pretty much like a detailed view of what she assumed. Uh, you know, just looking at it, she she would kind of refer to it as the cockpit of this craft. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> the oh yeah. yeah, and also the occupant who was standing inside. in the cockpit. Oh my! <laughs> hey boy, hey boy! Because <laughs> we're talking about a a, a see through three hundred and sixty top on this thing, and in the center of the craft, in the cockpit, anything in the cockpit, if you will, stood two seemingly strikingly handsome, very masculine, masculine, very masculine, ETs. chiseled almost, six foot tall. You know, like not scary tall, but tall enough to sweep you off your feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can only see him from the waist up. What a shame. Oh, I'll tell you what. All right, those suits, super tight. Cleaned in all the right places. It, there's a there's a great there's a great description where she goes at one point one looks at her and then and then like touches the other one and the other one like turns and looks too and like now in this context it makes me think of things like Ugh. yeah because buddy she's literally all I picture is her press she's got her bosoms pressed up against the window and she says spaceman take me away fucking. Listen, sweetheart, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm very mechanically inclined, right? Because I've been known to make a man's engine run, if you know what I mean, huh? I know how to work burn. a stick shift, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why is this? It's not starting. It's not starting. Get us out of here. <laughs> because she says later, she's like, I would have gone for a ride. <laughs> I would have went for a ride. I would have given him a sponge bath. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well built men, she referred to them as wearing yeah. some type of tight fitting, skin tight, probably. Very tight. Fitting suits. So tight you can see all their muscles. There's a superhero suit, is what they're wearing. So Very it's strapping. Uh, yeah, that's, Wait, that's her. What did they have there? Not the abs. They had, oh my God. What were they? Come oh, gutters. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> Fucking Krusty is thirsty. <laughs> Krusty, Krusty Kendall. knows what cum gutters are. Yeah. Krusty knows what cum gutters are. Oh, shit. So funny. Uh, yes, while most of their bodies were covered by these tight-fitting outfits, which she said... I thought you were about to say cum gutters when you were describing it there. I really did. Um, uh, it, it Not only were, th were their bodies... Uh, you know, encased in these skin tight suits, but they also had some type of. They were people. <laughs> <laughs> they had some type of material that she said, maybe like a, a, a more softer, more pliable type of material that actually that covered their face like a mask. So she Ooh, wasn't really able serious. to make out. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy, honey. <laughs> I'm into BDSM. Uh, but she, uh, but she also, but she also noticed that. Although most of their body was covered by this this in, a, in this fabric or this suit, um, their hands were uncovered, and she said that they they just seemed uh, very the big. flesh the flesh seemed very similar to a human's. Like it didn't it didn't look any different. Sorry, soft touch, you were... know, they're very masculine, but I'd imagine they'd have a very soft touch. <laughs> the, uh, like the interesting thing, what I pictured is a mask. Okay, it's like a cowl and then a mask. Like you know, like the Halloween. You know, when we were kids, right, and we're, you talking, get, like, the we're talking mask. Captain America in the first one. Right. And you can see the, you, <laughs> yeah. you have like yeah. that, it's like the black, whatever mesh that's so faint you can see through. I just imagine like a hood with just like a full fabric face mask of that. Oh, I remember those Halloween masks. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Scary, that's yeah. that's kind of like, what look, I. But they got the sexy superhero suits on. So I just picture like, you know, like the 90s superhero costumes in the movies where it's all one piece and then comes right. out of the towel, yeah. right? Yep. But they, it seemed like it didn't. You didn't see any mouth though. Like it was full. Like there's yeah, no like covered their whole face, whole face is what she described. Yeah, right? so it was like, like you no couldn't. You can no nothing. type situation. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's yeah. But yeah, the the, <laughs> the man, flesh like skin. Um, so as she was observing the craft, uh, Kendall described that the it actually seemed to kind of tilt forward at one point. So she got a better view of looking into the craft because initially she could only see the 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 beans from the waist up, and then as it tilted oh, forward, she got a better 
she got a better look at it like into the interior of the craft as it tilted uh and you know she was able to to get a good look she was of what staring was in there. what you're saying i mean yes she was hoping who wouldn't though uh yeah. if you're in her if her situation i, I, I mean you're, you're yeah. having a peek you're gonna, yeah, you i would be you i'd be guys are with too yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or they're flying a fucking soundless spacecraft, but you know, yeah. to each his own. Yeah, space dicks. Space dicks. <laughs> you only see the chances are low. Yeah. You gotta take advantage. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. This is the, this is the event that the the movie, the Jeff Goldblum movie, uh, Earth Girls Are Easy, is uh, based on. Yeah, <laughs> forgot. Makes sense. <laughs> um, uh, the way that the figures were positioned, uh, Kendall described that there was one in the front, and then there was one kind of just like in a little bit behind him, and the one standing in front seemed to be positioned in front of a uh, some type of chrome panel. Uh, which had a bun- a number of like glowing symbols that she could see that kind of seemed to be changing um, uh, colors and, you know, different and would light up and, and sequences and, and whatnot. And then it also from that panel extended out some type of, of lever. She could kind of describe, she would describe it as like something that you would see on a plane. Like you would see like a joystick. Um, yeah. Joystick. Like right. Uh, so the figure that was standing towards the front of the craft actually reached out and moved the lever. And so the craft actually seemed to respond and then move a bit, uh, as he operated it with this joystick. So it seemed that, that, that was its way of, you know, its way of moving. Um, and so, uh, Kendall kind of remarked that, <laughs> that she, well, she said they were about six feet tall, you know, all of this and all they were of these fuckable. things. Yeah, well, she didn't say that. She, didn't say. she was like, they were, they were striking. They were I don't know if I told you before, but oh my god! Oh uh, so, my god! And as Braden mentioned before, the figure that was behind the other one, um, the one that in front seemed kind of fixated on the the chrome panel in front of him, kind of moving his hands across it, trying to either manipulate it in some way or whatever, which kind of gave her. Um, you know, she went on to kind of speculate that it it just seemed, you know, if it were a human, that he was trying to fix something. It, it seemed to give off the the impression that they were in distress, like they, like yeah, it was yeah, trying to do. They have this fucking girl out the window, cackling, and they're like, "Get us the fuck out of here!" Get the fuck out of here. Um, and the second figure actually seemed to notice her because she said that it it seemed to turn and then like kind of just focus directly on where she was standing in that window. And then he reached out and, and touched the one in front. And then the pilot kind of, I guess he, he grabbed onto the stick and then moved it to further maneuver the craft, uh, you know, in, in where it was pos- from where it was positioned. Well, now, one of the other descriptions that she said too about just to go back to like the dashboard and stuff, she said, it seemed like the one kind of operating it wasn't touching but was like waving his hand over top of the dashboard and it was like lighting stuff up so it's like he wasn't having to touch it was just he was like he was just waving his like arms over it and it was activating stuff it looks like lights or something like stuff was happening yeah as, he... it, as we'll learn out soon it was fucked and the guy's just like fuck <laughs> fuck it's fucked <laughs> he's actually just smashing the dashboard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, so all of this, all of the observations that we described uh, were given in moments. Uh, is is what happened? Like uh, Kendall would like took all of this in within like mere seconds, and then, uh, but Kendall reco- like she recalls very vividly not feeling scared in the least, just simply being surprised and actually more curious than anything about what she's seen. Which I assume would be the case if you're a, like you're a nurse, you've you've been practicing for a while. Like I, I you've seen a lot of shit. It would just kind of be like seen it all. Okay, well, <laughs> I wanted know? to touch on that for the bit because I had a thought. So we we already touched on it a bit, but Braden mentioned the fact that she had been super mechanically inclined, right? Like that was kind of her thing. And one of her explanations for feeling very calm and relaxed was the fact that she's like, no, like I think they were suffering from some type of me- mechanical, you know issues and that's why they were there they they couldn't figure out what was happening and that was her understanding of the encounter like that's why they were there they couldn't figure out what was wrong with their ship right and i was thinking about that and then she's she's calm and relaxed and you know nothing's really phasing her and it's like to me that's 
fucking so bizarre because yeah you know what you're a seasoned vet and stuff like that i've been a paramedic for 10 years i see a fucking ship i'm gonna shit my pants all right i don't see hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video